What's up, YouTube? Dark Lord of Sword here. Time for another video. Well, last week we took a look at this uh, t uh, first contact phaser rifle. This week we're looking at this little guy. This is a replica of the Star Trek Nemesis Type 2 phaser from DC Props Canada on Etsy. Yeah, I'll put a link to their page in the description below. Is a extremely clean print, and there are almost no issues. There's a couple of small spots had to get cleaned up. the The sidewall right here needed a little bit of a uh, little bit of filler because it was curved oddly, but that's about it. The buttons came out nice. Uh, the lopsidedness is a is a me flaw, not a them flaw. Uh, it comes with a pair of little retainer nubs, nubs that go into these two spots. Uh, I have opted to replace those with a pair of neodymium magnets for the holster that I'm going to make. Okay. It comes as two, three, it comes as a number of separate pieces. The uh, power indicator plate is one piece. The buttons are a piece each, piece each as is the activator plate. The main body is one, two, and then a third piece inside that holds them together. The nozzle is one piece. And then the back strap and front grip are each a separate piece. Um, obviously, this is a solid prop. It is a static prop. There are no sounds. But I'm very pleased with how it came out. Uh, the paint scheme is a mix of... Uh, uh, Krylon silver, or no, not Krylon, um, Rust-Oleum silver, silver spray paint for the nose cone, and folk art brushed black and st uh, silver sterling mixed for the body with a little bit of, uh, of graphite finish mixed in just to give things a few little hits. I mean, the... The two acrylic colors actually mix very well with the graphite over a ba over a uh, base gray. You can see that on the front there beside the nose cone. And the uh, the back strap and uh, figure grip are actually the uh, the base color that they were printed in. It does come in a sort of matte gray finish, or at least that's what they sent me. And the back strap and, and finger grip are. Uh, a black, I don't know what they're printed in, but something, it's it's something flexible. Well, possibly nylon. Um, and then the uh, power indicators I I painted in with uh, iridescent gre uh, emerald flash paint. And very pleased with how this came out. Looking forward to doing a follow-up with the holster. My Star Trek collection continues to grow. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video. Dark Lord out.